Now, as you mentioned there, Cleona, these low temperatures also causing an awful lot of travel disruption, particularly air travel. As we know, more than 140 flights into and out of Dublin Airport were cancelled yesterday due to issues with de-icing of aircraft, which DAA says is the airline's responsibility. So about 20,000 customers impacted yesterday. An awful lot of people very angry at what they say was a lack of communication. Now, the airlines have apologised and say that things are running much better today. And among the people that were impacted were Hannah Keating and her partner, who's currently on crutches. They were supposed to get a flight to Barcelona. That flight was cancelled while they were on board, but then they had to wait further for extra assistance to disembark the aircraft. And they say it's just not good enough. And they hope that no one else with mobility issues would be in this situation. Myself and my partner boarded a plane with Ryanair yesterday morning at 10 to 8 to Barcelona. On the plane, we were told that it needed to be de-iced. We were told very little information on board and offered no food or drink during this time. We waited a total of five hours with all the other passengers to be embarked from the plane. My partner needed airlift assistance as he was on crutches, so then we had to wait an additional three hours for this. The pilot informed us that the ground staff were not answering him, so we eventually got off the plane after eight hours because I had messaged the assistant's Instagram page, who eventually replied, and we then decided to go home after this as we were not told when our flight would next depart. Now, the airport was much, much calmer today. We were there earlier on today, and that is due largely to the fact that around 50 flights were cancelled immediately this morning, which uh, led to uh, less impact and uh, less pressure on all the de-icing equipment. And travel expert Owen Curry said he would be quite hopeful that uh, the airlines will be able to cope a bit better as this cold stop continues this week. We're unlikely to see that dramatic scenes that we saw yesterday. Remember, de-icing is done by the airlines, not by the airport. And all of the airlines ran into trouble getting the capacity, getting the de-icing running at the rate it needed for the level of flights. Cancellations today will have helped, but I do expect over the next few days things to run as they would normally run on a wintry morning. We can expect delays, but hopefully no more cancellations or a small level of cancellations. It wouldn't be abnormal to have five or six cancellations in a frosty morning or when there's snow across northern Europe. Now, Owen's advice to customers as well is to check with their airline directly about the status of their flight and do not rely on third-party apps because we already know of at least one case where a third-party app was showing that a flight was cancelled and that flight did actually take off. And if you're using any method of a transport, any travelling over the next few days, do leave plenty of time for your journey. If you're driving, make sure all the snow and ice is cleared from your car before setting off and, of course, leave plenty of distance between you and the vehicle in front of you. Don't forget as well, over the next few days, check in with your elderly relations, neighbours and friends to make sure that they're coping okay and they have enough food and heat and of course make sure that your pets and livestock are comfortable as well. Thanks so much for that Nicole.